welcome back to my channel so today's video is a different video it's my first girl chat video and it's all about the bikini area it's how to prevent and how to get rid of razor bump ingrown hairs and hyperpigmentation if you're interested in what i have to share about the bikini area then stay tuned so before we get into this video don't forget to subscribe and make sure you guys click the notification bell so you'll be notified every single time i upload because i am pumping out the content like no bodies face names. So let me preface this video a little bit by saying all of us as women have been there with the ingrown hairs. We've been there with the hyperpigmentation. Like social media and YouTube made me feel like something was wrong with me. I'd come on YouTube looking for content like this or videos like this and I would hear exfoliate, exfoliate, exfoliate and no matter how much I try, it wouldn't work. So if you guys have been with me for a while, you know I posted like a really bad waxing experience and after that I was a bit traumatized so I gave waxing a break and I started using the products that I'm about to share with you. I did not also come up with this by myself, I have to give credit to another YouTuber, her name is Tanayin. I'll leave her channel link down below so make sure you guys go and check it out. So tip number one, put down the razor you yes you yes you sitting there watching me you you're who i'm talking to put down the razor stop shaving the razor is not your best friend the razor is actually your worst enemy the nail to put it down stop don't use it that's the first thing so what i've been using instead of nail or shaving is the magic shaving powder um and they come in different colors there's like a yellow i think there's a red one but this i have the blue and this is the regular strength it is a depilatory i don't know what that means but it's a depilatory and it says it helps stop razor bumps right on the packaging as well as it's, as it's formulating for colored persons as the name suggests it's a powder and you just mix equal parts of this powder with water create a paste and you apply it on the area for about five, seven to ten minutes and then you jump in the shower wash it off and all the hair is gone it kind of sort of smells like nair but with a men after shave smell but it doesn't burn it's not as harsh as nair in my opinion um and i think because of how it's formulated how it's created it actually caters to our different hair texture i don't know where i was before but this is really a lifesaver. So tip number two, which we all have heard when it comes to ingrown hairs and hyperpigmentation, is to exfoliate, right? Where I think we go wrong is that we don't exfoliate right after we have removed the hair as well as on a regular basis as well. So I exfoliate using a sugar scrub and this is the mango and peach one from Earth Elements. This is what it looks like. I've gone through a lot of it i also use um an exfoliating glove to sometimes when i'm lazy i'm a can bother deal with this but i exfoliate right after i use the shaving powder um as well as i do this like two three times a week no cap two three times a week and i don't play when it comes to my exfoliation exfoliating helps to remove that layer of skin so that your skin can rejuvenate and that will help with hyperpigmentation and discoloration so tip number three is to use a product that is actually formulated to treat ingrowns and razor bumps. So the one I use is the 10 Skin Solution and it says it on the bottom. It's for ingrown hairs, razor bump, shaving and waxing. This, this is the gold standard. This is it. This is the life changing thing. Like no cap, I'm not exaggerate. This magic in a blue bottle i tried this oh my gosh this is a short story um <laughs> i had a like before i started doing this i had shaved one time and it was so bad like when i said so bad i was on the verge of tears the whole bandone here was which is like bones and it was the burn and i was just oh my gosh and i had gotten this and i used it and recommended on the back which is twice a day and no lie within three days my skin completely calmed down there are no more bumps there's no more irritation there's no inflammation it calms it down this but I digress. But people are talking about this on Twitter, and I was just like, sis, I recommend. Some people also recommend the PBF Vanish. Never tried that. I, I don't even know where to get to the makeup, but there was a discussion on Jamaican Twitter about this, and a lot of people swear by it. So it's not only me. 
and it's so strange because there's only a few videos on youtube about 10 skin but 10 skin is amazing amazing and this will also over time help with your hyperpigmentation because it will prevent the bumps and the ingrown hairs that will eventually darken you get what i mean and tip number four hydrate 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 okay hydrate let me not say it again you hydrate everywhere well i'm gonna know for nobody else but i have dry sensitive skin so i have to keep my skin moisturized shea butter is also good for discoloration like dark spots as well as burns and stuff like that's very soothing i use these two on and off if i don't have one i use the other if i don't have this i really use the aloe vera gel i don't really mix the aloe vera gel that much but that's it keep down there nice and and soft so those are my tips and products that have been tried tested and proven to work um i really think these things are life-changing so if you've been suffering from any of the things i've been mentioning throughout this video give the combination of products a try i mean why not it may just work for you but if you do try it i really want to know like your thoughts and how it went for you I had tons of fun making this video for you guys if you like as i said before give me a thumbs up so i know how you feel and i can make more content like this for you guys but until next time bye honeys